Hello, I'd like to introduce to you DT Mouse, a mouse emulator designed for operation on the Diamond Touch table from Circle 12. As you might know, the Diamond Touch table is the world's first multi-user touch technology. It's capable of supporting simultaneous inputs from multiple people, and it knows who's who. So it was really designed to support small group collaboration, where the idea is people can gather around the table, they can be face to face, and interact with the same thing at the same time. And if you think about it, you kind of need to know who's who in order for that to work. Things like geospatial information systems, computer-aided design, gaming, any kind of application where people tend to work in small teams, that's what Diamond Touch is good for. If you want to make your own custom gesture interface or multi-user application, we have an open application interface and software developers kit to support that. But if all you want to do is operate standard Windows applications, well, you can use our Diamond Touch mouse, and that's what I'm about to show you right here. So here's my Windows desktop. You can see my fingers and mouse. I can double click. Here we can take a look at the news. So my one finger is like my left mouse button. My fist is the scroll wheel. Since we are multi-touch, we can tell the difference between a finger and a fist. I can also do other mouse functions using other touch gestures. So for example, a right click is a touch tap of the thumb. So that's a right click. Two taps of the thumb is your middle mouse. And in this browser, that lets you scroll around. There's an on-screen keyboard so you can type I have one of these in my office and I do all my work on it. If you ever get an email from me, it's from the Diamond Touch table in my office. Now, Diamond Touch also lets you put things on it. That is to say, you can put your coffee on it, your juice, you can spill your coffee on it. Uh, that's not a problem. The fragile stuff is up and out of the way. But sometimes you want to get down to a precise location and sometimes your finger is a little awkward, so what you do is you put down two fingers and now we enter in this precision mode where the mouse floats between my fingers. I can rock my finger around, tap once, it's mouse down, tap again, it's mouse up. I can copy, paste. So even though my finger is this size, the touch resolution on the diamond touch table is 0.3 millimeters, which is smaller than a pixel. I don't know of any other touch technology that has that kind of fine precision. So we can use those same touch gestures in Google Earth. So here again, my one finger is like my left mouse button. My fist is the scroll wheel. A right click is a touch tap of the thumb, and in Google Earth that lets you zoom in and out. Or two taps is your middle mouse, and that lets you tilt or rotate. Now you notice. Right now we're working in Windows, and Windows only lets you have one mouse. So if I have the mouse and somebody else tries to take it from me, you can see they can't have it until I let go, and then they can have it. Now we also have a multi-user annotation tool built in, so that if I take my fist and I drag it across the width of the table like this, you can see it recognizes that gesture takes a screen capture of whatever's on the desktop and launches a multi-user annotation tool where now we can all draw. So with my one finger, mm -hmm. I can draw like this and, and you can draw at the same time as me. And you can see our pens are different. If you want to change your pen, Five Fingers gives you this palette where you can change your pen color or your pen width. And this is the kind of thing that you could only do with a multi-user touch technology like Diamond Touch. Once we're done marking this up, I can gesture like this and save this as a JPEG image or just exit out and we're back to normal. If you'd like to learn more about Diamond Touch, check us out at circle12.com or simply Google Diamond Touch.